After mounting the positioner on the valve, connect the positioner with 60 PSI air supply and a milliampere current source. This is the reading on the screen when the positioner has not yet been initialized. We start by turning this knob to code P1, which is for display settings. If the display direction is okay, we go to P2. Code P2 is where you enable the configuration of positioner or locket. Here it reads open, so we proceed to P3. Code P3 is for fail safe position. Here it tells you it's air to open for fail close valve. You can change it to air to close for fail open valve. P4 is for pin position selection. Pin position you'll find on the back of the positioner. It'll tell you it's 35 for 15 millimeter stroke. P5 is for setting the nominal range. Max if you want to go above 15 millimeters. For 15 millimeter stroke, push this button and turn the dial till you get 15 millimeters and you push it again. P6 is for selecting the valve characteristic. Zero for linear, one for equal percentage. P7 is for set point setting, four to 20 for normal operation with four to 20 milliamp signal. P8 is for direction of action of the set point to the valve position. By default, it is increase increase, meaning 0% for valve closed and 100% for valve open. After this, you keep turning the dial till you hit initialize at P22. Press the knob and hold for three seconds. The positioner will now do auto calibration. After successful initialization, code P0 appears on the display showing the valve position. At 20 milliamps, it's completely open. And at zero milliamp, it's completely closed. The positioner is ready for use.